is going on good people and welcome back to another episode of the side quest sundays so ironically enough all the side quests are pretty much done for all intents and purposes but i want to see if this guy has anything different to say what oh yeah we got to use this yeah on. Is it him? You came to see me again? I guess I can't blame you, me being famous and all. Let's see, your treasure hunter rank is... C? I guess it's possible. Damn. Was this the guy? Synthesis, yeah. Okay. Damn. Fifty-three is a pretty big jump. Let's see what we have got zero of. I stripped everyone not in the party of everything they were wearing, so we should have quite an accurate count on the inventory here. Okay. Moonstone? How do we not have any of them? Interesting. Yo, Thief Gloves! Now, I'm to give you, like, Master Thief or something, surely. But you need to get the ultimate, not ultimate weapon, his other weapon for that. Hmm, interesting. So what we could do is... Ah, can we make a Moonstone? We cannot. Yeah, let's buy this. We can always load game. See if we've got more than one barrette as well. Maybe only girls can wear it. Damn. Right, was it worth it? Mm, MP plus 20. Not really. Oh, we didn't check what the barrette did. Damn. Right, I don't think we have anything to do here, so let's just reset that. And then we'll go from the beginning. Boom, straight on off the plot then, I think. Come on. Get in there. Yeah. Boom. Yeah, probably no need to worry about the synthesis stuff. The only thing I'm kind of curious about is getting the Dark Matter from the Trino Auction House, but uh, I suppose that's something I can do off the camera, or at least check what it does first. That'd be slightly more helpful. Right then, guys, on with the plant. So we'll land here. Get a little shavedy shave. Yeah, how you doing, Mogwo? Actually, Mogwa, we may not be seeing you for a while, if not ever again, depending on how this goes. So, yeah. It's been emotional, lad. Come anytime. Right, then, guys, Ibsen's Castle. Can we do it? Right, we can mash all this because we've seen this. In case anyone has missed when we popped our head in here. Uh, we're just talking about how weird the place looks and what could possibly be going on. And then Amarant, at some point, says he wants to go on his own. But uh, yeah, we can just mash through all this. At some point we do got a choice whether to let him go or not, so we better be careful not to mash too much. Yeah, I'm on. Yeah, he basically wants to beat us to the gimmick, like a race thing. And, uh, yeah, we'll just let him go, because we don't use Amaran. Calm down, Rusty. Oh, that's bad. Can't let you do that. What does he say? Ah, oh, that's too bad I'm going anyway. Nice. So it didn't matter. We'll see you later. Are you sure about this, Zidane? Well, we haven't got a choice. Yeah, what can I do? I can't change the way he thinks. Let's get going. We'll be Amaran to his own game. 
Yep. Fine of that. Um. Yeah, I suppose just in case we'll do it again, right? No point in having to sit through all that if we die. Um, yeah, that's it. <clears throat> How do they space in? Get in there. Oh man, this is awful. The controller wire keeps tickling my ankles. Gotta find somewhere to rest it. Okay, new area, it's official. Ipsen's Castle. Ah, this is probably something we should have done before. Actually, let's open the chests before I forget. Nice, so we'll have to go back to Trino at some point. Oops, can't leave before um, the deal of hammer and stuff. I'm going to find it before he does. What's this? Dagger? Oh, yo! I think I vaguely remember this. Hmm. Yeah, I might be wrong, and I don't think this is a spoiler in any way, but from what I vaguely remember, this place, if you do run in, in, into an encounter, I think everything's reversed, so if you're wearing your weakest equipment, you do, like, not max damage, but the most damage. And if we stay with our strongest equipment, we do really weak damage. I think... Yeah, for some reason just picking up that dagger seems to have triggered a memory kind of like that. Uh, speaking of abilities... Zidane's probably alright. We don't really steal. As long as no one's got auto potion, we should be fine. Right, take that off four. Damn, nothing? Come on, Beav. Oh, yo, Queen has got a counter. That's pretty hype. And he's got three as well. Yeah, add status. Come on. Yeah, that'll do. Let's just jump in. Okay, nothing there. I hope I'm wrong about this um, encounter gimmick. Hey, a Moogle. Cool. Yo, we've got a letter for him. A letter? Kupo, how unusual. I'm so happy. From Monkey to Kumo. Hey, Kumo. Hey, Kumu. How you doing, Kupo? Us Moogles in Limblum are all wondering the same thing these days. Where the heck is Magnet Central? No one knows, Kupo. Do you know where it is? It's supposedly far, very far away, and you can't enter very easily. I heard that you can't enter... Ah, unless you're on a chocobo. Yo, what? Oh, a Kupo nut. Damn, so we have to go back to... Um, Gizamaluk's Grotto again. Into... Whoa, look at all this. Yeah, look, and you can randomly buy all the worst equipment. Maybe the memory was right. Demon's mail seems hella strong. Mage Masher. Maybe we should potentially buy one of them just in case. Although the dagger's got to be really weak. What's the Mage Masher? 14. Ah, but we can add silence. Um. I suppose we'll save him here. Yeah, I get the feeling we're immediately going to have to change our equipment. But, uh, yeah. Ah! Uh-oh. So that's the one outside. Okay. Maybe we should actually use these three to rotate. Because if this is potentially a point of no return... Yeah... Okay, so leave. Leave slot one. Gotta to try and remember that. Gotta to try. Right, 
Fine, let's get on with it. Hey, a chest. Go on. What? Cat's claws. Don't need those. Why would they give you an amaranth weapon when he can't be in the party, no matter what you choose? That's quite strange. Oh, I didn't actually want to do that. Hey, we don't have a choice. Uh, no. Oh, we can go up. Uh, I guess we should get that. If possible. Oh, we're just going to get in a battle, aren't we? Hey, we didn't. of many. <clears throat> what we got here? Okay, so let's just try attacking the book guy. Yeah, 288, you see? 12! Maybe we should actually run. Queen is dead? What happened? Oh yeah, because um Well I suppose everything Right that was unfortunate. Um well, what if everyone's learning stuff though? Damn that sucks. Um, I guess we're just going to have to lower the equipment. Oh, but she really needs a sooner. Well, it won't really matter about her, because she's a white mage. He's a mage, so that shouldn't matter. Give him the fork. Yeah, we'll just see, see what happens there. They are queener, and then... Man, I hope she gets Cure of Guard at some point. Cheeky. Right, let's see how we get on there. Of course, if we take a hit, we may just die in one hit again, but you never know. Oh, there's surely a boss of this place, and I imagine... It's going to be the same equipment set up, right? Can't imagine why it'd be any differently. Um, so I'm just randomly walking around here, but I suppose we should be thorough in the hope of getting some sort of treasure. Right? Oh god, it's screen blow battery in my ear. Um, sure. Examine. Course. I, um, I suppose push. Is there a kick? Yeah, pound. Hmm. Think. Maybe it's just me. Um, okay. Right, seems like a dead end. Oh, yo, is that how we came in? Um. Okay. This might be bad. Whether this is a boss or whatever, we've just pushed our way through. And I have no memory of which... You're late, Zidane, and I'm the winner. Mm. Love Amaranth's theme. See how much time you lose by working with others. <clears throat> Have you figured out how to break the seal? <sighs> Take a look at that wall. Maybe you can figure it out. But it's no longer my concern. What do you mean? 
I proved myself right. I don't need to follow you around anymore. We may be enemies next time we meet. See ya. Damn, that's cold. Ugh, who does he think he is? It's his way. We can't change him. Damn, Queena really doesn't get much speech in this game, unfortunately. Uh, let's see. Something written on it. My power is protected high atop a fiery mountain. Um, that immediately seems like we might need to take a picture of it. Oh man, we really should have taken a picture beforehand, but I suppose... Yeah, I suppose we've got the other three. Fire mirror! Um, yeah, go on then. Give me them mirrors. Let's see, this one too. One more. Uh, my power is protected underwater, surrounded by the earth. Water mirror. Okay. Let's see, and this one. My power is protected behind a tornado. Oh, I think I immediately know what that one is. When... Uh, I don't... It may have just been an episode where we were walking around, but there was some weird wind tunnel, and you could park the airship nearby, but you couldn't really do anything. It just kept pushing you away. Wind mirror, I guess. Yeah. What's this going to be? Sky mirror? Let's see. That means this one too. My power is protected under the shaking ground. Nice, I'm pretty sure I know what one that is as well. There was a bit where I think any time we were flying... Around, um, no, I think it was when we were in the ship. The ground would start trembling any time you were close to this really weird one area. Earth mirror. I've no idea what the water thing is. That might be that weird thing sticking out in the middle of the ocean. You know, it's like a piece of bamboo or something. I think we had Choco near there. And the thing up top, I have no idea. Maybe if you use Choco to walk up the mountain, there'll be like a big lava pit or something. But I've definitely got ideas for these two. Hmm. All right. Well, looks like we got what we came here for. Let's go. You stare at mirror a long time. Is edible? Like Hilda said, those things on the wall must have something to do with the seal. Let's think about that later. We need to get out. Please, no boss. M mirror, return to me. Who's there? Oh, boss. I've got all the worst weapons equipped. Energy flow interrupted. Energy to Terra. You dare get in the way of Terra's master plan. What? What is this? My name is Tahaka. Return my mirrors. You should say please when you ask for things. Fool, you'll regret this. Okay, so I guess we throw out an attack, and if it does like 200 damage, then we know we done goofed up. But, let's see how we get on. Come on, you ugly bastard. My queen are attack. 468, shit. Uh, right, what's in his pockets? Uh, we'll try Flare, why not? And maybe Carbuncle, just in case. Or a Calor. I don't think we need Claws. Uh, I suppose we'll just Frog it. There 
me. 300. Okay, so normal boss. Good to know. Back attack. Trouble. Let's try thievery and see how we get on. Damn. Well, I suppose we'll try Comet next to see how that does. Yeah, Reflect is good, I think. Just in case he tries any weird bullshit. Frog drop, here we go. Now nah, screw it, let's just carry on with the flare. Yo, 3,000. I went around all the swamps in between episodes just to catch a few more. Summer. What did that do? Okay, not bad. And... Okay, keep dropping the frog. Nice, it got reflected. Don't heal. Hey, we like that. I'm gonna try Lucky Seven just to see how we get on. Yo, we might actually clutch this boss out if we're lucky, even though we've, we've got the worst equipment on. Mmm, I like that. So that's about 10, probably about 15,000 HP done. Coming up to about 20 with this frog. I like that a lot. Uh, we can actually get her to use an either one. Right, really bad luck there. Oh, what's he doing? Compact. Let me guess he takes hella less damage now. We should carry on. You would imagine Frog Drop ignores stuff like a defensive state. Go on. Mmm. Wonder how much HP it's got. Probably coming up to about the 20 to 25,000 mark of damage now. Nice, just keep flaring, we should be alright. That's it. What's in the chest? Okay, very nice. I wonder has everyone got Reflect on still? Oh, it looks like he's dead. Yes, good old frog. Mmm, we like that a lot. Water potion, high tide, nice. Right, hopefully we teleport out. That'd be really clutch. One is all. All is one. You'll never break the seal. Oh, damn. Some sort of weird time compression or something. Okay, so straight away. Well, we can do it for everyone. Uh, yes. Uh, we didn't change her or Vivi, which is quite nice. And then she learns that. Damn, no more hats. Maybe we'll just see if we can give her a better hand. We don't really care about speed or strength. Okay, so 24. 24 and 6. 34. Mm, magic events down a lot is bad. Okay, 34 and 24. That's pretty decent. Mmm. Right. Might have to be that mantra band. Hmm, that's really good as well. Yeah, let's do that, I think. Uh, then, oh, big abade would be quite cheeky. Give her one of those. Yeah, she's fine for those. Nice. Now, BB, surely he can have something better on his wrist. I will go Mithril. Mm. Damn, zero for magic evades. Pretty harsh. 16 and 30. Want to put those up? Okay, magic arm look could be quite nice. Yeah, 
yeah, let's go for that. Come on, Queen. Surely he can put a better hat on. Okay. Probably could have done this pre-boss. That would have been a bit hype. Doesn't matter, we clutched it so damn hard. Damn, that's all Queen. It needs more strength. Fifty-eight. That's pretty, pretty crazy. Yeah, he might need it actually, because he just died from that Blizzarga. And what about Zide? Cool. He just needs something better on his wrists. Okay, he's got the Mithril. Ah, oh, Magic Evade. Hmm. Nice, that'll do. Right, now we just have to try and save. Looks like the health is... Oh, if we get into a battle, we need the crap weapons, though, surely. So what was that weird door? Nothing, I guess. Maybe we can do something now we've got the mirrors. Um, damn. Nice, so this was not actually the point of no return. Okay, so you'd imagine we go into full shrines or whatever, by the looks of it. And I guess after that, wherever we go will be the sort of end game gimmick point of no return. So, whatever I read clearly lied to me. But, it's nice to have all this stuff done, I will say. Now, just because of the weird gimmick of this castle, I may just... Rot. Actually. I was just thinking uh, I'll run from everything to get all the chests, because especially as we've just done all that equipment stuff. Now it's a bit like, um, shit. Yeah, if all we're getting is the worst equipment, then yeah. Let's have a quick look. Just get out of there. Are they Tonberries? Oh my god, we gotta go. Um, quick. Tonberry. If anyone doesn't know, Tonberries are nasty as hell. They may look cute, but they their damage is usually based on the amount of enemies you've killed. So you think people like Zidane would probably be being hit for over max damage at this point. Like, this isn't the way we came, I believe. Or is it? It is! Yeah, let's just leave. Go on, lad. That's it. Maybe there is some rare treasure here, but screw it. And we're OP enough at this point. No need to worry. Uh-oh. Why are they all here? Ah! Hey, are you okay? No, Eco looks like she's standing on one. Yeah, that was scary. Uh-oh. Maybe we activated the trap when we reached the top. It's pretty clever. Well, I'm glad you're okay. Let's go, they're waiting for us outside. Right, we can walk if we hold the button. Cheeky. Okay, definite safety save here, just in case, but ideally we just want to be running straight outside to save. Nice that we got like 11 AP from that boss. One thing is... So it's nice that Eco's learning that, but if that's going to cost like 20 ability points then maybe we should actually just be making her learn her summons. It's a Fenrir. A mini. Where was the Mog thing? 
Unless we learned that already. Madine, that was it. Damn. Yeah, I might have to, you know. Just because it would make her a bit more useful in battle if she can pop off the odd summon now and again. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, how much more? Yeah, screw it. Go on, Fenrir. Uh, pretty sure we saved. Get out there quick. Mmm, breathe that thresh fresh air. Not thresh. Oh yo, Amaran Singh. Hey, sorry to keep you all waiting. You win, Zidane. You came out first. What? What happened to Amaran? He probably just boinged off somewhere out the window. He was waiting for us at the top and left as soon as we got there. I thought he took off. Is he still inside? I hope not. I really don't want to go back in there ever again. Ever again. You, oh, you guys wait here. I'm going to go look for him. No. Yep, this is why we stagger saves. No, I'm on my own. Wait, I haven't found what I'm looking for. Where is he? Okay, if Zidane's on his own, then dagger equipped. Let's do this. Uh, yeah, health's good. Bollocks. Now we actually have to search this gaff. Maybe he's in one of these pits. That made me jump. Oh, ugh. Who's there? Oh, made a prayer? I think that's something we could have synthesized. I may be wrong. If not, we've got two. It wasn't a maiden ring, was it? Uh, maybe dudes can't wear it. They are a bit weird like that with the items in this game. Okay, so who's groaning? Ugh. Oh yeah, over here. Who's there? Haha, <laughs> he fell. Zidane, why did you come back? Amaran, what happened to you? Answer my question. I told you we might be enemies next time we met. Or did you come back to mock me? You say some strange things. The guys outside told me that you hadn't come out yet. That's why I came here looking for you. We don't have anything to do with each other anymore. You don't have anything to gain from this. Or do you? No, not low battery again, please. What time are we on, anyway? Ooh, getting close to being done. I don't understand you. I don't understand the way you think. Who cares about what I have to gain? You need help right now. You don't care? You're willing to put yourself at risk to save me? Come on, we've helped each other many times since we joined forces. Eh, plot-wise, yes. Actually, in terms of having him in the party? Nah, not really. I mean, he does seem like an alright character, but you get him so late in the game. Hmm, it's tricky. Let me know if any of you guys are Amaran users. It'd be interesting to know if he's got any sweet jank. I know he's got counter and stuff, so it'd be a bit like having two Zidanes on the team. You're a part of the team. That's all that matters. I don't know why I'm doing this, but I can't just walk away. It goes against my nature. And that's what being a part of the team means. Isn't it? Come on, that's enough talk. Let's get out of here. Well, so we didn't need help after all? Oh, yo, we're actually using Amaran. Yeah, because I just stripped him naked. Okay. So, Cat's Claws. Uh, I suppose it really doesn't matter, but we could give him MP attack, just to make him a bit stronger. Um, ba -ba -ba. 
Eh, maybe high tide, so we go into trance a bit faster. What? Eh, uh, auto potion, why not? Actually, no. Um, I'm trying to think, because we could actually use him for once if we run into a battle, but we will have to remember to just strip him naked again the second we get near the entrance. Short counter. And... Definitely don't want to give him healer. That would be a good tech, though, if he's well strong. Because healer, I'm pretty sure, when you attack, it heals instead of damaging. So if you gave that to someone beefy like him, that could be an interesting tech of just attacking the party. And... what else? Don't need to also float. Restore HP. That sounds high. Right. Don't need all that. Still HP automatically when near death. Uh, sure. Yeah, I'm on. Counter, yes. High tide, sure. Gamble defense, why not? And what we'll do is take gamble defense off for accuracy plus. Boom, good to go. Ah, and if we do get a battle, we can actually chuck some of this stuff. There's a big chance we may not get into a battle after all that, though. I think the entrance is just here, right? Yeah, jump off. And then go for it. Nice. And then quickly... Uh, after all that... Ooh, job done. Listen up, everyone. Damn, a new tune? Let's sort out what we found in the castle. On top of this castle is a mural, a map of the world. Now, this actually seems like a better place to take a picture of the whole map. You never know, we may get lucky and it marks it for us, but uh, just in case. On top of this castle is a mural, a map of the world. There were four mirrors on the mural. The writing on the mirrors was in the language only I can read. Um, I don't think he mentioned that on the t at the time. That's a bit of a weird one to throw in there. My power is protected under the shaking ground. A tornado. Yeah, like I say, just to guess that that's going to be lava on top of the thing. Because I think we have seen that once, right? When we were running around of Choco. Underwater, surrounded by earth. Yeah, I reckon that might be the bamboo, but I'm not sure. I'm sure the mirrors are pointing us to the locations that help us break the seal. Ah, and if you look... I know it's just changed screen, but if you look at where they all like cross each other um, I think yeah the end game section may be quite close to the ice continent then by the looks of it what the monster said before he perished provided us with a clue about the seal one is all all is one meaning there is a connection between these four seals oh hell yeah so what do we do are we going to take each location one by one one is all, all are one. We're going to conquer all four locations at once. We're not going together like we always do? Nope, I'm going to drop off two of us in each location. I see. Hey, I'll go with Dagger. What? Why? No, why would you put two healers together? No damage at all. It's called Ladies First, Zidane, and we girls have things to talk about. Aha. Uh -huh. Is that okay with you, Dagger? Sure, but where are we going first? This is really bad. You do not put two white mages together. I suppose they can summon, but man, this is going to be tough. Well, the nearest location would be... One of the locations you mentioned is just south of us. 
Oh, you were listening to us? I've been a sailor for a long time. I'm confident in my sense of direction. My power is protected underwater, surrounded by the earth. The location must have something to do with water. Why not go there first? Alright, thanks for your help. Please don't hesitate to ask me if we forget your destination. And please remember to agree. Yeah, 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 sure. Uh, you can relax, buddy. You're beginning to sound like someone I know. Yep, Steiner talking about you. Um, Alright, Erin, let's go. Yes, sir. Now depart him. Nice! Yeah, piss off Amara. Okay, so weirdly enough, he was saying we need to do it in twos, and now it says select four members. Sure, not gonna complain. Go with the old faithful. Um, so that was weirdly saying something about the south, right? Right, guys, while I look for a place that... Yeah, that'll do. Boom. Tasty progression. I like that. So, after all that grind of... Before the point of no return, we have now freely left and are able to travel of our own free will. So, yeah, make of that what you will, but we got some progression in. So, the only thing that remains to do is sign out. So, guys, if you like the looks of any of the suggested videos flooding your screen at this very second, then uh, check some of them out. More importantly, let me know what you think. And if you've got any ideas for some future games for the side quest Sundays, let me know, because we are approaching the end game rapidly. Um, yeah, if you liked this, we have got a few other RPG-esque playthroughs on the channel. I have got Pokemon Fire Red and Parasite Eve, but that's uh, a bit more horror-like. Yeah, main thing is, as always, guys, I hope you're well. Thanks for watching, and see you again next Sunday for more side quests.